river's looking nice and calm tonight. It's unusual for it to be that calm. <laughs> this is normally raging, this river. Lovely. This is Galston River and Galston Pier. How you doing? <laughs> Sorry about the wind, I'm trying to stop the wind. It's lovely and calm. Which is very unusual. <laughs> Down in front of me, you can see the lighthouse. We just walked around past the wall, we've got a nice old sunset in the background over there. And there's our car sitting there. You've got a lovely fiery sky over the back there. It's pretty cool, it would have been nice to get a picture like that with the car in it. It's really fiery. Which is quite nice. But we'll come down to see the river and the pier, so let's do that. It's got a nice little sandbank and beachy part over there, but you can't get to it to fish it, which is a shame. That's all shut off over the other side, so you can't go there anymore. Oh, it's definitely cold. Lovely fiery sky. Getting close to the... Close to the lighthouse now. Shame about the hell fiery sky that's gone behind the houses. You can see the old lighthouse there. People on the road. I'm hoping that sky comes up above the houses, but it's not coming over the top of them. The sun's just gone down behind them houses. Shame. <laughs> you alright? <laughs> No, it's not going to happen while it's about. <laughs> Let's move on. I was hoping that was going to just come up over the top of them houses, but it didn't. So let's keep going along the side of the river. Don't know if there's anyone fishing, but we can still have a walk along. This whole bend is a spot where a lot of people fish. Oh, certainly cold. There's a light as close up.
That's so cold it is, you can see me shaking that. <laughs> right. You've got places you can eat and stuff along here as well. Pub, Bellevue Inn. You've got the Pier Hotel over there straight ahead. I'm not to say this is the the famous bend that everyone fishes on. So the river's actually quite calm today, which is quite shocking. How you doing, Jay? Sorry about that live earlier on. The phone went crazy, so I had to get on the line to YouTube, or Joe did for me. And we had to get it all sorted out. And that was all about verifications and stuff, and all sorts of stuff. We're having a lot of hassle at their end, I think, at the moment, as well. We're just down on the Galston River having a little look at the river and the pier at the moment. Just going to be a quick wander along, but not very often you see the river like this. It's normally quite wavy and rough. Kevin Ellis, how you doing? Here we had a good old walk. The live will be up, it should be uploaded. You better watch it. We found some good stuff. The tide was really low, so we got to see the old wall and stuff like that. I went for a walk and down some of the old rock piers that are normally underwater. That was quite cool. We had a little sort of mess around in the rocks. Uh, we looked down sort of Pakefield end and that, but there weren't no one down that end. We came along to North Beach, went past Corton and that sort of area. We're now down here because my phone camera went a bit crazy. So I had to get on the phone to YouTube and my partner did and get that all sorted out. That's all to do with these new rules and everything coming in there, just changing everything. I had to go through all my verification stuff again, which I've done. But all these no swearing rules are coming in and you can't show worms being baited up on a hook and stuff like that anymore. There's all sorts of stuff coming in. <laughs> and as they're switching it all over, that's messing everyone's accounts up, which is a bit of a pain. Yeah, sure is, Jay. That's going to be very different when that all comes in. But it's also going to tidy up a lot of channels and make things a lot more friendly. If I'm sort of make friends, you know, sort of family friendly. There's not many people in the car park. There's a few cars about, but oh, look at that sky. Shame we didn't get that going across the river or something like that. That would have been cool. Like I say, we'll have a wander along the pier. Actually, we'll cut across there and we'll have a look on the other side here as well. We can walk along, right along here and right along the pier then. I'll try and guard the wind from you. Down here always gets a bit rough. When it gets stormy, it gets really rough. Oh, there's actually someone fishing on the pier, actually. Which we'll see in a minute. Oh. See the old tide hitting the wall down the bottom there. On the full high tide, we get windy and stuff that smashes out and flies like 50 foot in the air and really splashes up. It's quite good fun to watch. Is that fiery sky again? Air doors with Big Matt, how you doing? Don't know about good morning, that's not good morning here. <laughs> good evening here. Just have a little wander down Corston Pier because I was up in Lowestoft picking up some parts. So I've done a tour around Lowestoft Beach here and I thought I did Corston as well on the way back. I'm struggling to talk because I'm shaking. <laughs> Pretty cold. That'll only be a short one, but you're still getting to see it. You don't see them in the daylight very often with me because I normally fish at night, so 
so it's always good to see the spots during the day and see what they actually look like as well. These two benches here, I always fish in front of them straight out. A lot of people go too far up on here. The fish are not down the far end of the pier, they're here. They're down this bottom end most of the time. So that wind's really kicking up, a bit of pain there. Chat fishing over there. If he's getting a few. We'll keep an eye as we're walking up and down the pier. It's going to be what dark here in the next hour. Well, I've got a um, business meeting to do at half six, so I need to get back. Get ready for that. <coughs> got to pick up Miss Waterside first as well. That's windy up the top there. <laughs> Certainly wouldn't want to climb up there. People do though. There's a ladder to the top. That's not my sort of thing. I don't like heights and stuff like that. Under here where these lights are. It's an ideal spot to fish. Sometimes if the wind's coming from the other direction you can sit here and fish out here. It can be good but I never seem to catch much down this end of the pier. I've had the odd smooth hand close in down the sides there and I've had some white and flatties and stuff like that, little bass. Never seem to get anything big from this pier and this end of it where I'm now going. It's hard, you can't fish any of that area out there because it's all rocky all the way around the edge so you can't bring nothing in, you just get snagged up every time but you can fish sort of here. Hi Brendan, you alright mate? Um, yeah, it's open all the time, you can come in here anytime you like. But if you do fish on this end, don't fish any further than literally right here. Basically just the other side of this red thing. And cast inwards, if you cast out anywhere out there, any of that, it's all snags. If you cast in sort of inwards here, basically these rail ones here with the and stuff on, or just the other side of this red boy. Any of this is fishable. Look at that sky. Pretty cool. <laughs> oh, that wind is like ice. You can't drive onto the pier anymore like you used to be able to. You have to park at the end of the car park and walk down there. And then over this side. You got all that over there. Wish you could get onto the end of there and fish off the end of there, but you can't again. It's all shut off to the public. I always have to spoil it. <laughs> so that's pretty calm today compared to what this river's normally like. It's normally flying in big waves, even on a calm day, which is quite strange. I was having a bit of hassle earlier on with the, the YouTube. They changed everything over because of all the new rules and loads of people's channels are just getting loads of hassle. But I managed to get it sorted out by the looks of things. Hello again Tasha, how you doing? This is only a quick one this one. So I've got to get back, I've got a meeting tonight. I just thought I'd just do this Golston bit. So that sky over there is brilliant, really fiery pinky sort of. Sky, it's not showing it too great on the film, as good as it could. Shame I couldn't get a photo of that really. But another day. <laughs> I 
Oh, nice one, Tasha. So you're getting there then. Keep it going, you'll get it done. Oh, I feel like my hand's going to drop off. But I'm going to get to the end of this one. <laughs> I just thought I'd show you in the daytime, just so different to what it is when I. The sky's getting better and better. Hi, Barry, how you doing? Malatise, how you doing? Yes, yeah, lovely spot. Look at the look at the sky in the background though. Sitting there fishing. There's one chap over there to the left there. Look. Didn't see him bring anything in yet. Where was I? Where's places I go fishing in the dark? Wooden beams on my left. Over there. Yeah. I agree, but I always fish just down there in front of the benches. I find if you go too far out in this pier, you actually go away from the fish. It's better to be closer in, to be honest. I've even caught on this side in the river, but you know what this river's like. It can be a right pain. But yeah, de definitely over there in front of the benches there. I can't go over that sky, that's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> that's obviously a lot better than what I show on camera. Colour wise, near the vivid colours. But hopefully that's going to change soon because I've got stuff coming and you'll actually be able to see all this stuff as it actually is really in the proper colours. That should all be set up by end of next week. So we've got these skies are actually going right round, it's actually quite cool. <laughs> Go for a point in the Pier Hotel. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice. Um, I've got to get back because I've got a hours drive to do and I've got to pick up Miss Waterside and we've got a business meeting tonight so we've got to get got to get back and get sorted. We just wanted to do this bit but I didn't know I was gonna have all the hassle with YouTube earlier. So it's helped me up a little bit. That sky is getting unbelievable, I love it. <laughs> I like seeing these sort of skies when I'm down on the broads and stuff on the boat and stuff. Look really good. This is another good spot you can fish off of your G's railings and stuff. I lost a really big ray down the side of here. And I mean double figures, that was a really good fish. I'm gonna guess somewhere between 17, 17 to 19 pound, I would say, that was a big fish. They come up on the surface and that went ting. Give me a good old fight though. It was on for about 20 minutes. Andy Tigger was hanging over the edge trying to pull it up. And we just didn't quite get to it, which is a shame. Yeah, that spot's good down there, but there's been so much weed. Last time I come through and had a go, I lost five sets of gear in about an hour and a half. And that put me off. <laughs> so I haven't been doing it so much. How you doing, Leon? What do you think of my fiery sky in the background now? Lovely. So that's the wild everyone. <laughs>
Yeah, sorry about that. YouTube has been an absolute pain today. If they're going to work in the background doing their stuff, then they need to do it so they don't affect people's channels, don't they, really? Or at least tell everyone. Not really fair on people like us that, you know, put stuff out. And they, you know, you speak to them and they say, oh, we're working in the background, changing our rules and stuff. It's not on, really, to be honest. But I'm obviously in the car again now because that all went off. And I'll be sending them an email again when I get in. But sorry about that everyone. Exactly Brandon. I put in a million percent effort every week and I don't need things like that, you know, messing up my videos and lives and stuff to put people off. job at my subscribers and that understand you know what's going on and stuff and it's not me but yeah I'll, I'll be on again soon at some point doing something else and hopefully that'll work okay yeah Brendan <laughs> good idea mate Trouble is I'm getting stuck in a bit of traffic in that now, which I don't really need, because I need to get back. Also, I've got a, a meeting tonight. I can't miss. So I need to get back, pick up Miss Waterside. Go and sort that meeting out. And then I'll be doing whatever I'm doing later on. <laughs> it's time to have some lunch I think even though it's way past lunchtime yeah cheers for popping in <laughs> sorry about the interruptions and stuff but there's nothing I can do that's out of my control I'm doing everything at my end that I can to make the the productions nice and clear as I can picture wise still trying to do it now that's the trouble they've obviously got a problem up their end it's not fair on the creators is it if they wanted to get that all done then they should have just said right YouTube off for a week or something like that do whatever they got to do and go from there but they didn't want to do that because they didn't want to lose all that money do they that they're making every minute I hate to think how much they make per week. It's definitely millions.
<laughs> Keep interrupting people's lives and uploads and stuff like that. <laughs> Brandon. It's my little toy. 2.5 V6. Fully modified. Lowered up rate of suspension. Stainless twin exhaust system all the way through. Induction kits. Roll and road. Tuned. Cams. A lot more. <laughs> Should have seen the Safira GSI that I had a little while back. <laughs> Five hundred for it. Think I'll skip that one. <laughs> Great fun and they look good, but that's very juicy. <laughs> what I've done today, basically, from where I went from the unit to lay us off to Goulston and back home, it's cost me 40 quid in Phil. <laughs> stuff to it and that will replace the Astra. Cars about about obviously home time. That lovely sky sunset is nearly down now. Over to my left, it's still got like a fiery sky, but it's very low now, it's nearly down. If you want to see this car properly, Brandon. You go over to my car channel. You can have a proper look around at the stuff. See what it is. It's 
Car Transformations UK, if you don't know. Next week, Lloyd, you'll be down. We'll be working out, trying to catch him a few fish and stuff. Ah, uh, fair enough, Brendan. Appreciate that. <laughs> I'll be doing a bit of work on the Astra and then I ain't gonna to say too much but I've got some special trips coming up which will be some stuff I ain't done on the channel so look out for them because they should be good too much while I'm going along. It's getting dark but feel free to ask me any questions or anything. Chat away. car and I was chatting away um, we'd hit 89,000 we've now done another 750 miles since then and that was only a few days back <laughs> so you can tell I get used when I went down to this and got some parts well, I do do a fair bit of travelling mile wise and stuff I mean obviously today just to go and where I've been it's going to be around 100 miles there and back. old Astra. It'd be nice if us and always Mark 1 GTE or Mark 2 GTE. I've had a few of them. Had some big wide arch convertibles and stuff like that. When that long ago I got rid of the last few I had. How are you doing Sammy? I'm just on my way, way back from doing a little walk around on Galston Pier and River. But YouTube's really playing up today. So, a little chat on the way back. Send me pictures. Um, if you go on my Facebook account, you can send me one or send me some pictures in Messenger. It's 
water slide fishing adventures. That's what most people do. Got quite a few people in the background messaging me, telling me all sorts of things. Asking me when I'm out sea fishing next and what river I'm on next and all that sort of stuff. How to get to places. We get a lot of praise on there as well, saying well done for doing this, that and the other. traffic I'm still getting back good time that's no problem if you don't want to it's not a problem just that you can't send um, any pictures or anything through on YouTube or nothing like that there's no way of doing it fair enough. I don't go on there that much to be honest, I just I use the messenger obviously for talking to people. I appreciate you supporting the channel at the moment, you've been on here quite a lot lately, coming in every live and stuff I do. If you fancy supporting the channel and joining the members team, have a little look at that, see what you think. It's just over a pound a week or depending on what tier you want to go on, if you want to go any higher you can turn into a green member, join some of the other people in the members side of things oh, don't know what's going on down here but people are turning around which is not good hope you haven't been in an accident Big old tractor there, cutting in the fields and stuff. If we're coming from here, the junction is quite a lot further down, but people seem to be turning off. Let's hope not. Let's hope it's just work traffic moving. see what's happening further down but you can fire away and talk to me now because I can talk a lot easier. 
may be. What's that, Robert? Maybe... I don't think I can see a police officer further down the road, so something's happened. Let's hope whatever's going on, people are alright. That's the main thing. I don't mind sitting in the queue if someone's getting help. Well, I'll say if you don't want to sit here watching that, just chat to you know, send me some messages. I'll answer what I can. Or pop over to someone else's channel and watch a bit of fishing and stuff. can't hear any but I can see people on the road and they're turning everybody around so but it's like we've all got to go the other way which means the road is blocked It's alright for normal sized cars, but for big vans and stuff, ain't good. I mean, it's, it's bad enough just for us, to be honest, but. Whoever it was is all good. It's not good when they shut the road and turn you around, though. Making my poor little car all dirty. It's just been cleaned up. <laughs> See the chat road a sec because we're on a bumpy road and I can't read it. <laughs> I'll catch up in a sec when I stop at the next junction. Hi Michael, how you doing? Shut that piece of road off so everyone get in that junction, wouldn't you? Instead of telling them to turn around when they get there. Yeah, Laurie would never turn around, you're right. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> Mike, uh, nice one, Michael. <laughs> if no one knows what he's talking about, we um, had a check last Sunday and my license had ran out by two weeks. <laughs> So I had to get it renewed there and then, which is fine, I normally do it anyway, it's automatic normally, online, but yeah, I went two weeks over. Not a problem though, they can see I always get one every year. And I don't get the low tier one, I always get the high one. That lets you fish everywhere and use all the rods. What a 
people doing? around a bit but we'll still end up in the same place
before out of the way, but didn't get a choice after that accident. on the other life. <laughs> circle to get back to where we were in that queue as long as we can get through at the bottom man. Yeah. we'll be okay
so we're still moving through anyway so hopefully when we get to the other end there we'll be able to just drive through but really they should have blocked that road off so no more traffic can get down there back this way for that meeting. would have been before I got in that queue. Surprised Miss Walsh, I didn't phone me up and chasing me. Saying you ain't got along now. watching in the background as you can see I'm not too far away we're now going over Pot Hyam Bridge which will be fishing once the salt tides and all that are gone away There's not much I could do. I had to go right round. You could have come over in another car, really, and met me over there. I've got to drive past where we got to go to come to grab you to come back a bit. <laughs>
have to sign off in a minute because I'll lose signal. I'm going to get a little bit further down the road here. And I won't be able to get it back because there's nothing out there in the Cumbry lanes. I'm only 10 minutes away from where I live now. Oh, well, Miss Walter is going to meet me at the gate now. <laughs> opposite direction now then. <laughs> yep, I've got the keys. So we're heading to the unit then everyone. away from the unit. <laughs> Nearly went straight past it. just come in I'm about to turn off I'm guessing that Shane's just finished or something because <laughs> everyone's coming in I'm only I've just done a little walk around at um, Goulston Pier but I'm now walk, I'm going back towards my unit got a little business meeting I've got to sort out so I'm about to sort of finish off really but even to everyone anyway Really, I'm not really doing much. <laughs> I've done the walkabout already. How did Shane get on in the end then? How are you still talking, Miss Walsh? I used to be here. <laughs> I'm now coming up towards the gate. Hi, Donna, how you doing? So everybody's come in, but I ain't really doing a lot. I'll go chat to you. But I've got a meeting in a little while with the people about the unit.
not doing nothing exciting, I'm just driving there. And I'll be pulling up, waiting for Miss Wallside to catch me up. It's probably uh, better stuff to go and have a look at. <laughs> just thought I'd keep everyone on because YouTube's been a pain all day today. Yeah, YouTube's been a right pain today. It's been cutting out and... I turned the live off earlier on and that started looping the end of the video and just going round and round and said I was live all day. <laughs> so, we had to speak to him and have that sorted out. And then that cut out again on me on a, a different live I started. And I know other people have had some trouble and stuff today as well, so... Sorry about that. Just trying to move you a little bit. Shane's give up, has he? Has he had enough, has he? Tell him to contact YouTube and get it sorted out. Because that's what we done and we had to do, verify our account and all that again and put some codes in. But basically, everyone knows that what they're doing in the background is they're swapping everything over to the new rules, aren't they? Because there's so much happening. That's messing around with the systems and stuff. There's just too much going on at once. Same as every time they update to something else. That causes hassle with the channels. What's everyone been up to then? We hit that at the same time, I think, Jay. <laughs> Both pushed it. I don't know why my picture is so grainy tonight. It's a bit of a pain. But it's not going to matter soon because we knew one. It's got night mode on it. Not that this is a cheap one, by any means. <laughs> I was, but things have changed. I had to, like I said, I've been having to contact YouTube and stuff, and it's a lot later than what I was expecting to get back, and now I've got a meeting to do, and I still ain't eating yet. Um, I've got to fix the steam machine in the loot in the unit and then I've got brakes to do on the Astra but I've got some some interesting stuff coming up next week uh, you should all like something a bit different but I've got to get the vehicles and that sorted out first before we can even talk about that sort of stuff. So we'll be cutting in. No, I'll go on and say hello and see what he's up to. I can still see all blue lights going down the main road and that, so 
Probably quite nasty what I drew past earlier on, I reckon. A bit of a pile-up, I think. I would turn you around and put you on my face, but you wouldn't be able to see me because that's pitch black, so that's why I've, I'm sort of sitting here with my side lights on. That's the only way of giving you any light. I do believe that um, Stephen's going live in a little while fishing. Me doing them walkabouts again on the piers and down the beaches and all that I've done earlier on. It's giving me a nice headache again. I seem to be getting a headache every time I go out in the wind now, which is a bit of a pain. He is now. Oh, is he already live, is he? He is live. Okay. I'll go over to him and you don't need to be sitting here with me staring at the cars, staring into space. Pop over onto his channel and enjoy some fishing because I'm only like so I'm only sitting here waiting for Miss Wartside to come over and then the chap to come over and have a meeting with us. So I'm not doing nothing too exciting. So I pop over and see Stephen. Give him a bit of support and have some fun. Awesome fisherman, how you doing? Well, I'm now about to end. I'm sort of just sitting here waiting for people to come and meet me. But cheers for popping in. If you can hit the old thumbs up, I'd appreciate that. But otherwise, pop over to Stephen. So I'll do the same while I'm waiting. Uh, cheers for everyone coming in. Appreciate that. Sorry about the hassle with YouTube, but there's not much I can do about that. He's only fishing till seven. Well, six o'clock now. Ah, oh, okay, fair enough. Right, I'm going to pop on and say hello then. And then I'm going to have to just sort this meeting out because the chap will be here literally in five minutes. Miss Wartside is still not here yet, so thanks for coming in, everyone, and I'll see you soon on another live or another video.